Conrad Gallagher is looking for Ireland's next head chef. He started with 16 and now only 12 remain. With four more set to go, it's the last chance to impress. One of the most important things about being a head chef is your staff must follow orders. It's going to be difficult for me with the next four because I'm now beginning to see the person. As I said at the very beginning, I want the winner of this competition to go on and do great things and, you know, my decisions have to be ruthless decisions from here on in. The final masterclass is the classic chicken dish, coq au vin. Heavy base pan, on the gas, I want to see some smoke, okay? A little bit of plain flour, I've sieved it once, okay? Yes, Conrad tosses the chicken in seasoned flour to help thicken the consistency of his final dish. It's important the group pay attention here. If the chicken is not cooked, then their chances of staying are slim. Nice hot pan, take it off for a second, add a nice little bit of olive oil, swirl it around, okay? I'm gonna keep it off the stove for a couple of minutes, okay? Now the pieces that I think will take longest to cook, I'm gonna put in first, okay? Okay. I'm looking for a nice golden brown chicken, and obviously at the same time caramelize it off and seal in all the juices, all right? That's the sort of golden brown color we're looking for, okay? Nice casserole dish, okay? I'm gonna put the big bits in the bottom. So in with the drumsticks, okay? Next out with the thighs, all right? In with the thighs. Then I think we said the breasts with the wing bone on. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, just like that. Right, beautiful and golden brown as you can see, right? And the idea is just to crisp it up a little bit. After he tosses in his sliced garlic, pancetta and pearl onions, Conrad now has a small surprise for the group. I am going to up the challenge a little bit downstairs for you guys because while your coq van is in the oven cooking, you guys have the choice to make an accompaniment with it. You can be very creative in what you do, you can play it really, really safe and say to yourself, I'm going to concentrate this in the coq van, I'm going to make a simple garnish. What do I like to eat with my coq van? I like to eat mashed potatoes. I like to eat a little bit of pasta, I like to eat a little bit of rice. So I'm looking, for, looking to see creativity coming through. A little bit of time. Okay, a little bit of time. Get the smells, come on, get those smells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the good stuff, this is cooking. When you're making noise, you're cooking, okay? When you're adding things into a frying pan, there's no noise, there's no steam, it's not cooking. I can take one bunch of ingredients, you can take the same bunch of ingredients, I can make every single thing taste differently because I know how to cook. I know how to get the best out of each ingredient. I can make a piece of garlic taste different. I can chop garlic, put it into a pan with olive oil and have one flavor. I can put olive oil in a pan, slice garlic, cook it differently and get a completely different flavor. That's what's called cooking. Is that all right? Yes, yes, yes. Otherwise you're just going through a process. All right? Wine. Have it, has anybody ever heard of deglazing a pan? Yes, yes sir. What, what was the most, one of the very, very important things about cooking? Deglaze. What's it? Sounds. Sounds. I want noise. Listen. What am I doing? Cooking. Let's go. I'm deglazing my pan nicely. I want all those flavors coming off, okay? I want all those flavors coming off. Okay, I'm gonna add a full bottle of red wine to this. I know plenty of chefs say if it's not good enough to drink, it's not good enough to put in your sauce, but it doesn't have to be the most expensive bottle of red wine. Get a nice bottle of Barola or a nice bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon, you know, six or seven euros. It doesn't have to be the most expensive bottle. I'm now gonna add a measurement of chicken stock. Now have a look at this. I've got golden brown chicken. The chicken has a flavor, okay? I've caramelized the garlic, the pancetta. I've added the onions, I've added the mushrooms. Everything has its own little flavor already, okay? Just very quickly, all right? I'll just pour it through this little chinois, okay? Straight down on top of the chicken and the garnish. You'll see a lovely red wine, maroon sort of color. Now, look. This is a beautiful, beautiful dish, look. I've shown you how to cook it, look at this, look. Get the camera in here close to this, please, look. Beautiful smells, beautiful flavors, right? All you have to do is copy me. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. this is world class. I have done it a world class way. The only thing you have to do is put it in the oven, cook it for five minutes, and it's perfect, okay. all right? 
Now, only you can mess this up. I have shown you how to do it perfectly. I've even measured out the stock. I've measured out the red wine. You just have to do it exactly as I showed you. I'll see you guys in the kitchen in five minutes. The third and final masterclass was the best so far because it was the first time we got to see Conrad, you know, and Jesus, man, he feels it, he lives it, you know, and uh, that's what I was looking for. You know, that's the whole day I've been looking for something that just inspires me because I love passion and I have to feel something, you know, and today I got it from him. To me, it's very similar to what I cook at home. I do a lot of casseroles and that now, it's your upmarket casserole. But I would be a lot more confident than our second challenge because that was a lot more technical. I think it's a natural kind of progression now. I think they've, maybe they've all sort of relaxed a little bit and they're starting now to get into it. And I think that, um, that when we had knife skills and cooking together this morning, you know, it, it, was, it was a little bit complex for them. But now it's just the butchering and cutting's done. Now it's just into pure cooking. So I'm interested to see, does that make a difference? Because I do believe that there's some untrained chefs that can cook, but they've got no, obviously, formal skills and stuff. So it'll be interesting to see now who rises to the top. Back in the challenge kitchen, Conrad has a loud word with the final 12. Four of you are going home today. Do you realize that? Yes. I'm feeling really, really bad about sending people home. So please make it really difficult for me. Please start cooking. I'm a huge supporter of the small local butcher. It's great to buy a chicken whole and be able to smell it and touch it and see the carcass. And you really, really know what you're, what you're getting. Chicken should be golden brown. I think chicken is a very, very popular ingredient in Ireland. I think you could probably buy, you know, an ordinary plain chicken. But I still think it's nice, if you can afford it, to be able to pay a euro or two extra and really get a nice, proper, fresh chicken that maybe has had a little bit of time to run around the field or whatever. Ten minutes up, guys! Remember to talk about, remember about cooking. Come on, get it, make it jump. Get it, make it dance. Come on, make it dance. Salt and pepper, salt and pepper. That's a job. Break them all up, look. Spread it all out, make it dance. I want to see it dancing. Dancing, come on. Oh! Hot pan before the pancetta, come on, guys. I want to hear the frying pan singing. Salt, pepper, rosemary, thyme. Spread it all out, come on. Make it dance, make it dance, come on. Get it all flat in the pan, come on. Where's your salt and pepper? Rosemary, where's the thyme? Come on guys, deglaze! I want to hear bubbles! I want to hear sounds! That's it! Whoa! That's it! Keep it on the fire! More wine! Come on! More! 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 That's it! I need to see chicken going in the oven very, very soon! Oh yeah, this is cooking! We're cooking now! You having fun? This is the good stuff! Come on! In you go! If your chicken is not in the oven in the next two to three minutes, you should consider going straight home, guys. But you're going to fail. Okay? I do not want raw chicken at this stage of my day. After the break... Come on, guys! Give me some life! Come on, answer me, guys! The chefs have a chance to show their flair, but will it backfire? What's this black stuff? 